Every time we went out, instead of simply kicking back and enjoying the moment, we would find ourselves scrolling through a never-ending Instagram feed. We'd take selfies, post them on Instagram, and then spend the rest of the time obsessively checking our likes and comments. I found myself feeling jealous of people's graduations, weddings, house purchases, and the like. Instagram makes me feel ungrateful for what I have. It makes me feel like I need things I never cared about before. Instagram is seen as a window into only the best of a person's life. This gives them the power to shape it how they see fit. Take a look at the most beautiful of today's top Instagram influencers and you'll notice they all look astoundingly similar. Their buttocks resemble perfect bouncing balloons. Their waists are smooth curves. Their lips are pursed into big swollen pouts with contoured noses, sharp cheekbones and smoldering bedroom eyes. New face filters on Instagram today. Why do people look so much more attractive on their Instagram profiles? Why does everyone have such a perfect life? Why is everyone on Instagram is party and has so many friends? How did everyone's skin get so damn smooth? Because they're faking it. Facetune is highly popular among beauty gurus who use it to fine tune their selfie, removing imperfections and adjusting the lighting so their highlights really pop. It represents the internet's endless pursuit of physical perfection. This clip is a perfect example of how different someone can look using different angles. This is a nice looking girl, but then she immediately becomes a new, more attractive version of herself with a slight change in the lighting and angle. If you thought body image issues only affected young women, think again. Every time you take a photo of yourself to post to Instagram, it looks I saw a woman at the gym get all dressed up in her matching sportswear. She stood on an elliptical, took a selfie on the equipment, and then left the gym. People do this, okay? <laughs> People do this, and they might say they don't, but they do. I'm just letting the Instagrammers know. People care more about taking a picture of a beautiful sight than actually enjoying it. I remember the good old days where people used to enjoy nature by simply going there without worrying about likes on Instagram. We are all vulnerable to social approval. We really care what other people think of us. So you have a, 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 an addicted generation that doesn't have the, the skill set to ask for help. Combined with the fact that they're so good at Facebook and Instagram, they're good at putting filters on everything. So they're good at showing you how smart and strong they are. These kids who commit suicide, you go look at their Instagrams, you would have no clue that they were depressed. People look like they have a much better life than they really do. People are posting pictures of when they're really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking. People basically seem they're way better looking than they basically really are. And they're way happier seeming than they really are. So if you look at everyone on Instagram, you might think, they're all these happy, beautiful people. And I'm not that good looking and I'm not happy. So I'm a suck. Some of the happiest seeming people, actually some of the saddest people in reality. What if I told you that many of your favorite influencers didn't actually earn their following, they purchased it? Recent research shows that 49% of Instagram influencers have engaged in follower fraud. One in four influencers purchased 15% of their followers, and three out of four bought over 10,000 followers. Consequently, nearly every major celebrity now has fake followers. I don't think that they are inherently bad people. But I think that Instagram actively gives them an incentive to be this way fueled by the addictive potential of the platform and the likes you get from it. It'll cost time and it'll cost money and it'll make your life worse. Hey, reporting live, it's Trap Bunny. You can expect to pay anywhere between $2,000 to $11,000 per hour to rent a jet that can seat six people. Where are these girls getting this money from? Or this is all just an illusion. If you noticed, these three pictures were all taken on a jet with the same white seat, the same plywood background, and the same type of window shape. I did a quick Google search and guess what? This well-known private jet can be rented for $50 per hour. This famous jet is actually a photo studio with the main photo area that we see in everybody's pictures. The fact that someone has made a business from making a fake private jet studio for influencers. The purpose of social media itself is to get you depressed over a lifestyle that doesn't exist.
Social media isn't real, but you don't ever see real life. The 99% of our lives, the behind the scenes, the unglamorous, unfiltered, day-to-day, -day, bland normality. And you end up comparing your behind the scenes to other people's fake highlight reel and using others as a mirror or benchmark for how you should look, how successful you should be, or how you should live. You'll become your happier self when you stop putting pressure on yourself to be more like someone else. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um... Uh... No. You see, Instagram and Facebook have become digital hunting fields. Sex offenders look for both potential victims and customers on these platforms. They find vulnerable children and start sending them messages. Santa Cruz County man has been arrested, charged with using social media to try and lure young girls for the purpose of having sex with them. The journal reports that Instagram has been connecting and promoting a vast network of pedophilia. Researchers within the Wall Street Journal's investigation found that the platform enabled users to search for hashtags and recommended accounts related to buying and selling child sex material. A Nigerian Instagram influencer who posted pictures of his lavish lifestyle could spend the next 20 years in a prison cell. Dubai police have once again solved yet another case involving an international online scammer known as Raymond Abbas, but who goes by Hush Puppy on social media platforms. Yeah, I got the watch that matches it. How much is that? This was $450,000 or something. Some, you know, something. All right, guys, welcome to my car collection.